Hello, Assalamualaikum guys dan selamat kembali ke episod 2 Children of Morta Mari kita sambung perjalanan kita yang hari tu Aku cakap aku nak main Kevin so Kevin nah. <laughs> Scattered bones stripped clean of flesh lay in stark contrast to the dead left untouched. Hunger and malice thrived. The lost trenches, the new residents of the goblin hordes. Kevin is quick and stealthy. With each hit, he stack frenzy. Oh, lagi banyak ada pukul, lagi laju eh. So... Mai dah dekat tu. A not so innocent game of chance and memory. Susah pulak main Kevin ni Ah, rapat sangat siah As the conversation turned to the progress of the corruption Mary was curious to know which village had been attacked this time However, that worry gave way to panic when Lucy entered Poor beasts, all slaughtered. Maybe something had infected them. The corruption was on their doorstep now. Who is this? Abang Kevin? Ah? Adik John? While painful for a mother to see her son in sickness was still better than missing him for so long. Mary knew that she would make caring for Mark her mission. Oh. Mark had to warn them about the dangers approaching, despite how difficult it was to talk. He started naming the villages that were evacuated or worse, taken over by the corruption, but soon succumbed to fatigue and fell asleep. Mary recalled hearing of an herbalist in Caldipo Caves that would have the yarrow at hand needed to treat Mark. The Bergsons would once again need to brave the treacherous caves in search of the herbalist. Oh, Onisan! Onisan! Onisan is back! Caldipo! Kita nak cari herbalist nak heal Onisan! Onisan, Mark Onisan. Finding the herbalist was the most pressing matter. The healing herb needed to be taken to Mary as soon as possible. Ui, kena. Saja je mati. Kalau tidak cerita tak berjalan noh. <laughs> tak nak mati. Masih bosan nak mati. What the? The poor herbalist had no valuables, but the goblin's greed had now surpassed gold and jewels. Shedding tears for the dead man would serve no one now. The herbs needed to be delivered to Mary.
Yeah, Onisan is health back again. Mark was out of the woods now. His fever gone, he was almost up and about. Welcome back, brother, said Kevin. Welcome back, brother. Okay, Rina Sai, Onisan. Bertumbuk ke? Ya tu? Bertumbuk tu? He had avoided conflict over the years, living in harmony with nature, but his Uncle Ben was fond of saying, a Berkson would forget how to walk before they forget how to fight. Kita main mak Se... Dah tapau kat ni Marki sama Marka Mark automatically target his enemy from a short distance and destroy them when he attack. Oh la ma. Haya! Haya! Ya 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 ya! Oh bye, he's here bling! In the darkest depths of the cave, there oh, has been a weary oh, he... traveler dares to tread. Hey, the chamber of a Nea Dyer, a golem. First step toward the mountain god. It was right here. The Bergson thought that this would be one final thing that they could do for the Wolf Cop. What the? Die, you little satir. One fungus bomb harvested them. Not the most pleasant of smells, but would give bite and power to any remedy. The sight had become painfully all too familiar. The sorrow always hard for the guardian to bear. Not able to save. When all was thought lost, 
When the struggle was becoming too heavy a burden, a young voice cried out. Stifling his sobs, the small boy spoke of his mother. She was not far away, and returning to her was his only need. Why are you over here? Oh, that little fail, fail. Oh, that little Matia Roshi, Matia. John, eh? That little. Apa kuat sih yang lu eh? Aku nak mati. Uh, sorry, 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 boy. Bored down uh. twofold upon their shoulders. Ah, uh, I'm a bad adult. <sighs> Sedih. I'm so sorry, madam. I failed to save your children. But I will take this. Camp lay in ruin. Serene prayers had fallen on deaf ears, leaving a voyage of hope with none no. at all. The yeah, monster's eyes play. lacked remorse, or even the slightest hint of reason. Let me keep you all. <laughs> No one can always be there in time. A sad truth that no hero learns easily. The creature that now threatened the hero was a crudely focused inferno of hatred and malice. One raging beast Alamak. is not enough. And surely, two were.
Oh, the skill, eh? Oh, oh! Yeah, the blade. Heading out. Oh! Final Back gasping it. breath. The second beast became motionless. The poor creatures, twisted by the corruption, were finally able to rest. A path to be cleared of the corruption, and the jewel of life to be restored. The realm of Anea Dia, mother of beasts and the goddess of waters. Before embarking for the spirit halls, however, family must be informed of the newly opened passage. Yes, ah, kita percaya. Kami si biasa, bro. Tengok, setengah jam, eh. The goblin siblings lay dead, and the pilgrims were now safer in their caves. But the last step remained to be taken. The warriors knew only that somewhere in the expanse of the caves was the ancient halls of the spirit who would reveal new truths to them. Oh, anjing. Anjing hidup. As if night had become day, Kawaii. the cub showed no signs of its past struggles, with Lucy and he now simply dancing the day away. If the little wolf cub was to stay, it would need a room and bed of its own. All too happy to build it, Ben only required some wood and nails from nearby. Okay, nampak ya guys. Sampai sini saja video kita untuk kali ini. Stay tune untuk episode 3. Kita akan kembali sama Mark, Kevin dan juga Anjing.